hello in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to assign r1s configuration using can ingold prelog priority okay so the first question i have here is this compound so we have a carbon at the center with all of these atoms attached to it so now when we look at this compound the first rule says that we have to examine all the atoms that are attached to the stereo center which in this case is the carbon okay or we can say the center atom so when we look at it the one with the highest atomic number is given the highest priority over that with the lowest atomic number so in this case bromine has the highest atomic number followed by the chlorine and then followed by fluorine and hydrogen and if we write it out this is how we rank it so bromine greater than chlorine greater than fluorine then greater than hydrogen okay so after writing this the next thing we need to do is to then assign the numbers starting with the highest one as one then the second highest as two the third highest as three and we have the last one here which is the least priority as four okay now see the dash dash there i mean the dash there so that tells us that this atom is pointing backward okay and that is how the lowest priority should actually be it should be pointing backward so it's okay for this particular compound whereas the witch the one that is in bolded form tells us that it's facing the viewer so it's facing up okay all right so after knowing all of this, the next thing we need to do is to then draw out our arrow starting from 1 down to 3. Okay, so now you connect 1, 2, 3 and back to 4. So we just have to know the direction. Now this is going clockwise through the right okay so we denote that as r configuration now this r the full meaning is rectus and rectus is a latin name which means right okay so it goes through the right hand side okay and when it is through the left hand side it's called is represented as s which is sinister meaning left okay so this is how you assigned for this particular example you first start with giving the priority to the highest atomic number the atom with the highest atomic number down to the second highest the third highest and then the least draw your arrow from one to two to three and to the fourth one the direction tells you if it is r or s configuration okay so the second example I have here is this. So for this example, what we have here is um, iodine, chlorine, methyl group, and hydrogen. So the highest priority here is the iodine. We give it one. So if we follow the ranking, iodine is greater than chlorine, which is greater than CH3 and then CH3 is of course greater than hydrogen. So iodine is 1, chlorine is 2 and um, CH3 is 3 while the hydrogen is 4. Okay. Now after this we then draw out our arrow from 1 to 2 to 3 and looking at this arrow we could see that this goes counterclockwise okay and goes through the left hand side so the configuration is x so for this particular example 
This is in the case where the highest priority is the one facing backward. Now, this is not possible. It is expected that the highest priority should be facing forward. It shouldn't be backward. So when you have a compound like this, this is exactly what we did, but the difference is where the wedge and the dash is. Okay, so the dash in this case is on the is on the iodine C two iodine bond, which is wrong. So we need to rotate to put the iodine forward, while the hydrogen, which is the least priority, will move backward. Okay, so how do we do the rotation? So the easiest way to do this rotation is to leave one of the atoms to remain where it is. Okay, so in this case, we're going to leave the chlorine as it is without rotating. So we're going to rotate from the CH3 to the hydrogen and then from hydrogen down to the iodine and the iodine down to the CH3. Now, when we finish this rotation, what we are going to have is that each of them will take their new positions, okay, leaving the chlorine to stand where it was before, and then the CH3 will replace the hydrogen, the hydrogen takes the place of the iodine, while the iodine then takes the place of the CH3, okay. So now the hydrogen has, which has the lowest priority, now has the dashed, which is how it should be. Now it's facing backward. Now that we have this, we can assign the numbers. So of course, iodine is the highest priority. So it will have one. Then we have the chlorine, two, CH3, three, and the, of course, the hydrogen will be four. So if we draw out the arrow, it will move from iodine to the chlorine, then back to the CH3, okay? And that will give us the arrow configuration. Another way is that we'll ignore the rotation, assign the numbers accordingly. So now we've assigned all the numbers. We'll draw it out normal, ignoring, ignoring the fact that the iodine is facing backward. We'll just draw it out as it is. So, we we'll then have the iodine down to all from 1 to 2 and 2, 3. Now, when we draw it out, we see that it moves left uh, counterclockwise, which is X configuration. Now, in this simple system, all you need to do is to give it the opposite configuration from the original one you got. So, when we have this scenario where the iodine has a higher priority, but or the compound or the molecule, the substituent, has a higher priority, but is facing backward. All you just need to do is do like treat it as if nothing was wrong, assign the priorities, to draw your arrow, and then give it the opposite of whatever you get. Now we draw this arrow and we get X, right? Now, it means that because we are going to rotate, okay, which we did not, the configuration will be the opposite of this S, which is R. So, the right configuration will then be R. You understand? So, it's like a flip. The opposite of what you get becomes R. That is when you don't want to rotate. You can just, this is the easiest way to go about it. Okay. So, it becomes R configuration. Okay, so for this example, this example now explains what the second rule says. And the second rule says that when you have the substituent, when you have two or more substituents attached to the center carbon having the same atomic number, all you have to do then is to look at the other substituents attached to each of those atoms individually until you get to a point where there's a difference okay so for this one you can see here that we have carbon and another carbon attached to the center carbon right these two carbons have the same atomic number okay so because of this all you need to do is to look at the other 
substituents attached to each of those carbon. The first one here with the highest priority is the oxygen because it has more atomic number, okay, higher atomic number. Now let's now look at the two carbons, other carbons, the CH3 and the COOH. Now if we look at the CH3, you have three hydrogens attached to that C, right? And then it's then attached to the center carbon. Then when you look at the COOH, you have the C, you have double bond O, and then you have OH. Now when you compare these two, you see that the other substituents attached to the carbon for these two, the O is higher than the hydrogens. So COOH will have a higher priority than the CH3. Of course, hydrogens is less than oxygen, right? So that means our two will be COOH. Then three will be CH3 and four will be hydrogen. So when we draw out the arrow, it's going to go from one to two down to three. And that's counterclockwise or anticlockwise, which is X configuration. Okay. All right. So another example is when we have more than two substituents or more than two atoms attached to the center atoms having the same atomic number. So in this example, we can see here that the center carbon has three other carbons attached to it. And these carbons are of the same atomic number, right? So now in this case, all we need to do is to expand each of these. Of course, we know that hydrogen is just one, so you can compare with this. So it's the least priority here. So we'll give it four. Now let's start with the first one. The one up there is we have the C and in that C, H, two H is attached and then another C with three chlorines attached. All right, so we go to the second one, same thing, 2H attached, and then with C, and then another hydrogens, three of them attached. Then this other one has three hydrogens attached to the center carbon. Now let's look at these three things. The first carbons are directly attached to the center carbon or the stereo center is the same. Now we go to the next thing. The next ones here, for this first one, you have C directly attached to that C. For the second one, you have C directly attached. Okay, But for the fourth one, there is no C, it's all hydrogen. Right? So this tells us that this one is lesser than the other two. So we give it three. Okay. It will be three because it's less than the this other two. Okay. All right. Now that we know that this one is three. The next thing is to then compare these two. Now these two, the first carbon we have another carbon attached to it. The same with the, the one on top. Now, if we look at the second carbon, it has, for this second one, it has three hydrogens attached. But for the one on top, it has three chlorines. Of course, chlorine is higher than, than this other one. So that would be one. And um, this would be two. So this is how you assign the priority. You have to look at all the things attached when they are looking the same. Keep looking at all the other substituents. Keep taking them one by one until you get to a point where there is a difference. Then you'll be able to assign based on which one has the highest atomic number. So after this, we then draw out our arrow from 1 to 2 to 3. And this is clockwise direction, so we assign arrow to this compound. So this is how you can go about assigning 
R and S configuration to compounds using can ingold prelog priority. Now remember we said the first rule is when you are given a compound that has different atoms attached, okay, and these different atoms they are not ambiguous like the ones we just saw. All you just need to do is to assign priority based on the highest atomic number. Okay, so um I just want to mention that if for this example here we could see that this compound is Akira. So Akira is a compound whereby the center carbon does not bear different substituents. So for something to be Kyra or for it to be possible to have R and S configuration, it should the center carbon should have four different substituents. Here we can see that it has two the same things two of hydrogen two of ch3 so it there's no way you can assign priority in this case so it's not going to be possible so you need to remember that whenever they give you a compound first check that there is chirality okay